Hello family, it's Ariana, your Tarot Life Coach, bringing you your April Tarot Scopes, big baby. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. So guys, I hope y'all are hanging in there. I hope y'all are saying your prayers, doing lots of meditations, and connecting with each other socially online. With that being said, I'm going to keep these as high vibe as possible, okay? <laughs> and so let's talk about what's going on upstairs. On the third, I feel like some computer love is going to be coming through, maybe some sexy texting, because we have Venus entering Gemini, lots of flirtatious energy out there. And on the fourth, this is a very important day, guys. This is Jupiter conjunct Pluto, right? They're having a very important conversation. Remember on the 12th, Pluto had this conversation with Saturn, right? And now it's sharing the information with Jupiter, which will happen again in June and in November. Now, on the 7th, full moon in Libra, 18 degrees. 18 comes down to a 9. So what are we getting justice in? What are we closing the cycle on? On the 11th, Mercury enters into Aries. Communication is going to get very clear. Mercury likes to be in like a strong sign like that. It's no longer in water. So communication is going to be forthcoming. On the 19th, happy birthday, Taurus. It's your time to shine. We're starting off the monthlies with you this time. And on the 22nd, you have a new moon in your sign, Taurus. Congratulations. Important date on the 25th, Pluto will be going retrograde in the sign of Capricorn at 24 degrees. What does that mean? It's going to make sure that transformation is going to happen, right? So with that being said, we come to my favorite part, right? Y'all know I love pick a cards. I do them every morning in the car. If you don't catch them on here, you can catch them on Instagram. If you don't catch them on Instagram, you can catch them on TikTok. I mean, come on, it's tarot in the car. However, we're gonna do it for the month. So deep breath, which will it be? Will it be one or two? So if you chose card number one, you have Mother Earth energy coming through. And this energy is trying to tell you that it's time to heal a relationship with the way that you mother, the way you've been mothered, and with Mother Earth. This is also telling you to pay attention to your dreams. There's something of a nurturing that needs to happen. The mother, the maiden, and the crone comes to my mind. There's huge transformation with you in the way that you nurture yourself and others. Now, if you chose card number two... You have the night. It's time for you to communicate your honesty. Be exactly who you are. Stand up for yourself. You don't have to be aggressive with the way that you speak. However, with the sword being down, it still means that communication needs to take place. Speak up for yourself. Realize what it is that you truly want during this time. Start journaling. Work on those things. But get that communication out there, not only to others, but to your creator also, so that he can make a way for you. All right? With that being said, guys, stay tuned. These reads are going to be off the chain as usual. And guys, I love the comments, okay? So share with me which parts resonate with you. At the end of these videos, I'm posting my new prices. I will be lowering my prices while all of this is going on so that I can help um, as many people as I can. So with that being said, guys, big, big blessings, lots and lots of love, and see you in the reads. Hello, Pisces. It's Ari. Are you ready for your read, big baby? So, if you're new to my channel, bienvenidos. I'm so thankful that you are here and so thankful, thankful, thankful to share my space with you. First, I want to say we're going to jump into this reading. And if you haven't hit that like, that share, subscribe, or comment lately, be sure to hit it because what's happening is YouTube is unsubscribing people to um, my channel and to other people's channels uh, so make sure that if you are liking other people's stuff that you leave comments and you like it and you're interactive or you're going to get removed from their subscribers list and you won't see when they're going live or doing big things all right so mind body and soul jumping into this hit up the tarot a little bit of health a little bit of crystal love and then we'll be done all right let me hit this timer. Okay, timer is on. So with that being said, we're gonna be using the Camelot's Oracle. So let's say thank you for the space together. And we're gonna add some protection as we move forward. Now, we are going to jump into what is Lancelot trying to teach you this month? This is the heroism, Pisces. You are the hero. I need a hero. Y'all remember that song? <laughs> this is love, strength, devotion, kindness, and dedication. This is Lancelot. <laughs> anyway, no matter what task or challenge you have, Lancelot is by your side. And he has the strength to overcome any obstacle. But 
but his heart is wasted by love for the queen. So there is this feeling of you're unable to give your love to the person that you desire. The full moon and the new moon are going to affect your mood and your feelings this month, Pisces, because you have the full moon here and then you have the new moon right over there. So with Lancelot coming in, he's telling you nothing is going to harm you. You just have to keep moving forward. You are on the turning path. The turning path on this deck, in this deck, is headed towards the northwest. The northwest, according to Feng Shui, is telling you how to attract beneficial people, bringing blessings, bringing travel, and also blessings of the Father, okay? This is bringing good energy coming in. The turning path is a symbol of a maze because it feels like you're going in circles and circles because you're headed to the castle mortal. Now, on the northwest corner, you should put maps, pictures of travel, photos of places you want to go. You want yellow, beige um, colors over there. And avoid water and fire, all right, to bring in this travel energy. Now, this is a difficult and sometimes dangerous place to be, especially mentally. So keep your task in mind. And remember, you are traveling with a champion by your side. And you are empowering yourself to move forward through this difficult time. Now, Lancelot wants you to ask yourself as you're headed to the castle mortal, what is your most human trait? And what does it teach you? What is it that your traits are trying to teach you, especially in a time like this where it feels like we're going in circles, all right? Castle Mortal is about materialism. This is a desire for hunger, for power and self-love, possibly obsession, but this is also about humanity, okay? Now, the guidance of this card is telling you we're all in this human experience together. We're all going through highs and lows. And the face of these powerful negative urges, you should always try to remember you are human, Pisces. You are here to elevate the souls of others, all right? But you are human. Acknowledge that and be kind to yourself as you're moving forward. When it comes to your work, you may learn to understand that the world in other ways, acknowledging the presence of non-physical forces about your guidance, meaning your spirituality is heightened during this time. And love and relationships, be aware of being too do dominant or obsessive in a relationship. And if you feel that you're at a turning point in any relationship, whether it's personal or professional, go very lightly. You're also in between transitions right now, and I'll explain that later. In your inspiration, working with others will make you stronger, all right? Because as a team and being united, you are the 12th sign of the zodiac. You are the collective experience, and you're here to unite us and bring us to a higher vibration. Now, Pisces, with that being said, you have the dolphin's energy coming in. Such a beautiful card to have, such beautiful energy. And this is about having fun in this situation. The dolphin, according to this card, has the highest frequencies of a Atlantis, okay? So there's a lot of Atlantean energy coming in. They're wonderful healers. They raise the frequency of people to enable them to restore their own divine um, health, okay? Now, the wisdom of the dolphin reminds you that you are special. Oh, Pisces, you're special. Oh, <laughs> and you're on a soul journey, but you are not without faults. No one has, but that is the past. Everything is in the past. You're moving from a way of being to another way. All right. Your task this month is to lighten up and be joyful. It's time to play. You are your intuition is very heightened also with the dolphin. And if you see here, all of this yellow divine light coming in, I burned my arm today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and so you have it touching your heart space, all right? So you're having divine light come in, which is leading you through this physical change of being in darkness to moving to the light. This energy here that's coming through, you are moving to your crown energy. You are between worlds. When it comes to relationship, it's not about planning like things specifically for the future, but it's learning the lessons as you go through. Maybe you just met someone, you're connecting to them. Enjoy the moment of connection. It comes down to the number three, which is telling you this is new and exciting. You're moving from the darkness to the light. Now, put your crown on, my friend, because you're moving into two worlds. So you're between worlds, the darkness and the light. 
And then you're also on the Akashic Records Between Worlds too, with the Two of Scrolls. 32 comes down to the number five. Five is significant of karma. You're clearing karma, you're raising the vibration, and you're moving people from darkness and yourself into the light. When Two Worlds comes out, this is when you receive, um, there's conflict in your life, okay, between what the world wants and what your spirit wants. And you're trying to make these decisions between the polarity, all right? The push and pull will continue until you learn to bring your spirituality into play. Okay, who you are forever is who you are now. Let nothing impede your power. Stand in your essence, Pisces, because you are being uplifted to learn, to grow, and to ascend. All right, now we're going to jump into your tarot read. I am using the Babylonian tarot by Tabitha Cisneros. I always say it wrong. And I'm going to cut the deck for you in just a minute. And I have here the Prince of Cups looking at the Seven of Wands reversed, right? This is you not having the courage to move forward. It's you wanting to offer your cup of love. It's you desiring a big change to come forward. However, you feel like maybe I'm not strong enough. Maybe they're not attracted to me. Maybe it's never going to change. Because, ooh, the Eight of Pentacles just flew out. Because we're human, okay? We're human. We're having a human experience, but we're elevated souls, all right? Okay, is it ready? I got a six coming on, so we're also dealing with things from the past, childhood loves, um, childhood loves, things that you loved as a child in childhood. I need to go turn something off real quick because the buzzing is bothering me. Give me a moment. Okay, so let's see what we got going on over here as I move these. Sorry about my bandage, guys. It's just really ugly. All right, so we have a care, we have a spirit guide, we have the tower, we have a little bit of imbalance going on, queen of pentacles reversed, higher fit reversed, king of pentacles reversed. All right, overall energy. I'm going to the bottom and then I'm going to tell you immediately what I'm getting from this. <laughs> okay. Actually, I'm going to tell you immediately now. I'm just going to tell you what I'm what I'm channeling. There are some Pisces that are involved in a relationship. They want to marry somebody. They want to move to the next level. They want to take a job, but they're not being supported by their parents or their bosses. OK, you do not feel supported right now. And this is only for some. However, in this situation, you are completely desiring to move to the next level. Remember, you're between worlds. You're ready to go. But there's this parental or this boss or this manager style that's not allowing it to happen. So I have here the two of cups, princess of cups going to justice. You are ready to offer your cup of love. You're ready to do this. You want to have children with the three of cups or you want to celebrate the chariot saying, let's go for it. You are healing from a past love or a past situation. And you might be dealing with a psychic individual or you are psychic with the high priestess coming through. So let's clarify with the light seers deck as we move forward. Okay. <sighs> Pisces, we have a spirit guide here coming through, blessing you, and it's a fiery energy. I'm going to say work with your root chakra this month and your heart chakra because of the, the way that I'm feeling those three cards, your first, your second, and your fifth. There's a lot of imbalance coming through right now, okay? So let's see what the spirit guide is leading you for the past. Ooh. Okay, you wanted to get married. You wanted to move to the next level. You're ready to move spiritually, emotionally, physically. You're like, oh, hell's breaking loose. And it might even be with a fire sign because of that carob. Or you're just passionate about this. You are passionate to elevate. Now, what's interesting here is you see this ascending staircase and you see this ascending staircase. It's a split decision back to between two worlds, back to having to decide what you're going to do because it's going to cause conflict within your family, within your life or within your friend group. OK, something's coming now. The tower that's being represented here. Actually, I want to give you some guidance on that. OK. With the Hierophant, what does this want them to focus on? Pay attention to the moon cycles. The moons just fell out. Okay. Meditation and everything is connected. Okay. So look at this energy. During these new moon, full moon, waning and waxing moons, 
This is elevation for you. Go into meditation, quieten your mind, tune in to the flower of life. The universe is trying to show you patterns that are showing up so that you can elevate and move to the next level. You are ready to cross over. You're ready to move on. The question is, how do you get through all of this tower moment? The tower can be representative about what's going on in the world. Maybe you can't go somewhere, you can't do something, or it's significant to an argument or disruption. What does the tower suggest? I have the sun flying out. I want to see if something else comes up. There we go. Whoa, <laughs> Pisces, Pisces. <laughs> You are sitting on top of the world, baby. You are at this moment, possibly with a fire sign again, okay? You have a lot of passion. It's a yes. You feel like you are complete, but it's a tower moment because you're not getting what you want. I think you're either stuck or it brings a lot of chaos in your life, whatever it is, but it brings joy to your heart. Remember, look at the imagery of the sun, how it's opening up her heart. And then look at the dolphin. Have fun in the relationship that you're in. Have fun in the job that you're in. Have fun in with what's going on because it's completely changing your world in a good way. Now, the next thing is 21 comes to a three. That's on the bottom of the world, right? The three is significant of new things coming in. You feel complete. And what's interesting to me even more is it throws you off. It throws you off even in this deck because I have the two of pentacles looking at me. Now, what is off? What's going on? What is the hidden influence is that we don't want to take the advice of somebody. We feel manipulated, okay? We're like, wait a minute. What's going on? And this could be with a Taurus, okay? There's something going with a Taurus, a mother sign who's a Taurus. Let's see here. What does the Two of Pentacles say? You can reach me by airplane. I'll cross the desert in pouring rain. There you go. I don't care how you get here, baby, but get here, all right? And like I said, possibly with a fire sign because these also came out with it with the three of wands and the queen of wands. Now, the situation that I have here is there's an imbalance because you wanna be somewhere. You feel like you are on completely polar opposite sides of the world right now. Pisces, who do you wanna go see? Remember, you have Lancelot by your side. And even though we're going through social distancing, we are not emotionally distant. We are not spiritually distant, but we can still connect. So using that six of swords to calm the waters of the imbalance, what can you do? What is it that's calling you spiritually, emotionally, and physically? Oh my God, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. You have such a beautiful read. I want to cry, Pisces. Anahata with Namaste. This is you opening your heart chakra. That's why it's an imbalance. I told you your heart chakra is really being shaken. Again, green and red. Okay? So Anahata is coming in with this vibration. Come from a pure loving es essence. Okay? Come with love. Even if you have to explain to this individual, hey, I'm not seeing things like you are. Please understand that I still love you and I still honor you, but I have to go on this journey. I have have to do this just to see where it leads me all right because you're between worlds so let's look at this queen of pentacles she's not happy that you want to go <laughs> she's not happy she's not happy baby okay let's see what's going on here upright she's not happy with the decision that you're making with the four of wands i do pick up like a marriage I do pick up signing a contract. Again, the queen of wands is at the bottom of the deck and I shuffled. So with that being said, there is something that you're not seeing eye to eye with, okay? Four of wands, let's get more guidance with that four of wands. Pisces, I might be reading too long, I'm sorry. What is it that the four of wands wants Pisces to know? Okay, let's see here. You're overthinking it. Another four. So let's look at the number four, four, four. This is a very powerful number. You have the four of wands with 44, four, four, four. You are building your foundation. Okay. Again, four plus four plus four comes to a 12, 12 comes to a three. The third, the 12th and the fourth are probably going to be big days for you and they've already passed. However, even in May, those days might be significant to you. Even the 8th might be significant to you. However, this is you strategically planning how to express to a Taurus or to a Virgo or to a Capricorn or to whoever this energy represents to you how you're going to move forward. 
again, this is an untraditional decision because the Hierophant is reversed. You're like, you know what? I'm just going to do what I want to do because I need to do it. <laughs> and they are not, baby, they're not feeling it. Hierophant, what is, what is the suggestion here? Oh, gosh, Hierophant. Got a lot of suggestions. I don't care how you get here. Sorry, I'm in my own world. Another eight. So I'm going to tell you, even financially, if there is also a system of banking that you have been looking into that's a different kind of financial way, maybe Bitcoin, something of that nature, this might be a time to invest with the 44, the eight of pentacles, and a non-traditional system that's coming through with the Hierophant. I know, sometimes messages come in differently. It's not all about love, okay? So... I have here for you now 88, okay, with the 44 and the 8 coming through. You have a lot of repetitive numbers. I want you to pay attention to that this month. When you're making decisions, what's next? There is a huge financial blessing coming in for you with the number 44, 8, 8, and then 8. So money is going to be coming through. And you have the 8 of Pentacles twice. Remember, this fell out of the deck. So I'm going to put the 8 of Pentacles there. But I want you to look at this. I do feel that you're learning new skills from a spiritual format because there's a lot of... Um, manifesting going on here a lot of herbalism a lot of writing journaling candle magic okay but let's see what this eight of pentacles is trying to teach us uh, which deck do i want to use i'm gonna go here this way it'll be very clear <laughs> y'all won't think i'm making stuff up all right another Double number. You are completely blessed. Keep moving. Don't stop. Get it. Get it. Pisces, you're going to come out on top. All right. Even though no one is agreeing with you, no one sees things your way. You're going to go because this is a blessing. You don't care. You know what you're going to do and you're ready to move forward. You are blessed. So let's see how this King of Pentacles is affecting the situation and how to move forward. What is the King of Pentacles bringing to this situation for Pisces? What is, oh, all these cards came out. I'm just going to see what's picked. Upright, upright, upright. Okay, that's enough. Are these it? No. Okay. So, again, the Queen of Pentacles is reversed for you. This is a couple who does not agree with a new beginning. They do not agree with what you're doing. But it's okay because you have a new life coming through for you. And that's the beauty of the essence. Remember, if we go back to the beginning of the card read, right? We go back. Look at this. Between worlds because you're waking up. And you're going to make your decision. It doesn't matter what anybody has to say. You're just going to make your decision. Wow, Pisces. This is beautiful. So let's go into what our single Pisces can expect for love. Oh, single Pisces. You got the lovers. Who are you hooking up with, big baby? This is either the right decision. Maybe you're choosing between two people. You're going to make the right decision. Okay. And this is you really being in your heart space. You have been you haven't been this in love in a long in a long time. Okay, for my booed up Pisces, what am I booed up Pisces thinking? Oh Lord, I got a lot of cards coming out. Oh Lord, okay. Let's see here. Okay, boot up Pisces. There's something about the eclipses, possibly in June, that is going to affect you. And I know this is like going really far ahead. But when I see this card, it makes me think of balancing. You are going to find the balance to achieve what you want. And some of y'all are still thinking about having another baby. You're possibly going to have a baby. Or there's like this Pisces baby coming through. Something's coming through for you. Okay, but with it, have patience because your achievement will get there. Some of y'all who are in couples are looking to celebrate, looking to have a wedding, looking to have your baby shower. Have patience, okay? Have patience because it is coming. Now, let's look at your Pluto retrograde energy coming through for you. I'm so sorry I'm going so long. And we have this beautiful Santiago de Compostela. This is about reconciliation, okay? This card came out in the first Leo read, so you might be reconciling with a Leo. However, this is St. James the Greater, and he's telling you, are you longing to go visit someone, something, something sacred, something holy? What is it that you're longing to go do? Because it's heavy on your heart. Now, 
You've also been wondering when your struggles are going to end. Why can't your business start? Why can't this happen? Remember, all of those negative feelings are just experiences to add to the achievement of what you desire. Now, Compostela means the field of stars, which refers to the Milky Way, and to St. James, the patron of the stars of the pilgrimage, okay? Things might be dark right now, but look to the stars to lead you on your way, okay? You are going to reconcile with something very beautiful this month, okay? That is your Pluto retrograde message. Now, your personal message is embrace your confusion and sit with peace. Be in peace as the world is in chaos because through harnessing that peace, you're able to elevate, all right? Now, your spiritual card is Holy Amethyst. Amethyst is a beautiful crystal, but this is also um, divine alchemy. It's moving beyond your current challenges to focus on what you truly desire. You're ready to move beyond the current energies or situation. You're hopeful, but there's a need for clearing. There's a need to move forward. So call on Holy Amethyst to help you focus on the golden opportunities at hand, okay? Now, your health card is the Ace of Pentacles. This is something I'm going to tell you what I pull from this card. With the Ace of Pentacles coming through, you are reviving. I'm going to give you the real meaning, but what I'm feeling from this is pick up a book. Remember, you have nine lives. Whatever you planted is going to flourish. Now, on a health reading, this is ruled, um, where is it at? Ace of Pentacles. It's time to diet. It's time for fitness. It's time to take your supplements and get healthy. Remember, you want to take echinacea, golden seal. You want to take elderberries. You want to take anything that's going to help you build your immune system, mullen for your lungs, okay? Ace of Pentacles comes through. It's just time to take care of yourself. The herb to this is whole grains. Make sure that you're eating healthy, that you're working out still, and that you're still on some kind of regimen, Pisces. Now, your crystal is selenite. This is here to um, promote meditations as it filters out our ego and um, distraction. It also helps telepathy and opens up past life links and clears negative influences. On a health reading, this helps neutralize mercury, aligning the central nervous system and helping us accept connections to the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. This crystal signifies it's time for a period of clarity and concentration. Stop confusion from clouding your judgment and communicate clearly your intention and purpose. So, wow, Pisces, what an amazing month you have going on. If you're interested in a read, hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arianaluciano. Be blessed, fam.